how do you think people in this movement can keep that love that they had as Christians and keep reaching out and so on? That's a, that's a hard question. I feel that everyone really has to um, answer for themselves. But my um, two cents is that after you, after you gain that knowledge <clears throat> of Torah, after you come to Torah and you, and you realize that, that all of this and, and you're growing you're, and you want to share the world with everyone, I, I believe that you should be very cautious and careful on how you do that and doing it still in a way that isn't, because as a Christian, I always remember in, in apologetics, um, you never thump with your Bible. You never just you never just hit somebody over the head. And witnessing to Mormons, what I would always do is ask them questions. I know that theologically they couldn't answer them according to their rules and regulations. They they weren't able to answer it. So it would back them up in a, a theological conundrum and, and they would start saying a trance, I believe in uh, Joseph Smith and the Mormon church to be the one true church, you know, and it's like, you have to snap them out of it. Hold on, wait, you know, you, stop your prayer. Hey, you know, and <clears throat> pay attention to me, me, come back to me, come back to me. Don't go into your trance, come back to me. Now let's see. And so if you just ask questions, you're planting seeds and getting their minds to think about it. You never told them they're wrong. You know, you're not wrong in your eyes. But let me show you, if, if you believe that the, the, the Bible is truth, let's look at it. Let's look at it. And the Bible can't contradict itself, so let's find what these apparent contradictions are with like the Book of Mormon. Does it match up? It doesn't. So, it, they, you know, they had a hard time with it when I was witnessing to them. But I tried, and, and I, can't, I can't remember if it was Walter Martin. He said, um, just ask him questions. I believe it was Walter Martin. He said, just ask them questions. And, and it's, they have to answer in their own mind. You know, and, and if you have to get your mind to work and to wrap around it, you're gonna, and it's complex, you're gonna really think about it constantly. You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night, think about what did this guy just tell me? Why am I still thinking about it? I'm gonna have to bring it up to the elders, to the, to the deacons and the bishops and, and figure out what the deal is. And then come to find out that, wait a second, am I living a, a life of lies? Kind of like how we were in Christianity, you know, and when we came out of it, wait a second, I was inheriting. I was told all this was done away with. How is this still possible? So I, I, keeping the love, it being, it's just like staying out of sin. How do you stay away from sin? Uh, like, like Yeshua said, he said, uh, uh, don't even, when you look at a woman, or if you look at a woman in lust, you're committing adultery. That's planting that seed. So you have to acknowledge, there's a beautiful woman, I cannot look at her, because if my mind starts, my eyes get away from me, my mind starts thinking adultery, that's planting a seed of adultery. And then you do it over and over and over and over again, all of a sudden your wife isn't beautiful anymore. You're thinking of everything else but that. But that beautiful woman that God gave you, and you can't let that happen. So he's saying, stop it before it even starts. Before the act even happens, the physical act, stop it in here, stop it in your eyes. Um, Job said, I, I make a covenant with my eyes never to lust over a woman. It, it's like you're, you're, you're stopping it where it starts. So stopping it where it starts is Stop that you're gonna you're gonna always love even though you found Torah you're always gonna love and still do these things to help the less fortunate and saying always never forgetting that never forgetting that sometimes we think about it, man we used to do so much we used to go out and and uh, prison ministry and uh, street evangelism and you know feeding the the homeless and you know and helping these people and doing this and do what happened. We got educated to Torah and, and we just got all this knowledge that we got overwhelmed. So if we stop it before it starts and not get too overwhelmed and still maintaining that love, you know, maintaining that givingness, you know, it, it, I, I really believe that we won't lose it.
I think that's a great answer. <laughs> and I think those are all the questions I have for you. But cool. Would you like to add anything else? Mm, I don't know. I just think I forgot to ask about this journey or anything you'd want to share with, I guess, your previous self, with the Christians, with... Being it, it, a lot of a lot of Christians say, even myself, say, "Oh, I'm so I'm so open-minded. I'm so free. I, I can see everything. I can see what's sin, what's not sin. I, I I'm I'm very open-minded. I'm I'm I'll, I'll listen to what you have to say. A lot of times you don't you're not really listening. You've already made a decision before I even start what I'm about to say. So. If I open my Bible, and it's not me who's speaking, it's the Word of God speaking, I think you need to listen, you know, because it's, it's none of it's me. I, I'm going to get myself in trouble by just saying me, so I'm going to say what the Father has to say, or what Yeshua has to say, or what the apostles or the prophets, or, or anybody has to say. So, really be open-minded. If you're open-minded, be open-minded to where you can you can... And I like to say, because I, I, I like to do this, is let me prove you wrong. Prove me wrong. You know, I, 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 I want to be proved wrong. because I want to be rebuked and corrected and so that I stay on the path. You know, that, that, that like, um, like my child is, is an arrow in my quiver. And the mark is heaven. And I, I take all these necessary steps to, to pull draw and to aim and let go and that arrow has to hit that mark and if it doesn't or if I'm aiming off somewhere you know I'm not hitting the mark of heaven I'm not hitting the mark of Yeshua of uh, Yahovah if I'm not hitting that mark then then I I really have nothing so I, I would I would like to to say that everyone should to really be open-minded and, and put it to the test like the Bereans. Test everything, like 119 says all the time. And that was my big thing. Yeah, I will test it. I will prove you wrong. Without saying I'm gonna prove you wrong, but I'm gonna prove you wrong. Watch, I'm gonna win this debate. And I lost the debate and I found that Torah was for today. <laughs> and I was humbled enough to say, all right, Father, I'll wear these strings on my pants. I'll, I'll wear seat seat. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take the criticism and ridicule, um, but it'll be good. It'll be good because it's my, it's my testimony. It's my walk, like my tattoos, my testimony, my walk. I'll never, you know, I'll never get rid of them because it's who I was and who I never want to be again.